What job do you think you could do for an NHL team realistically? Could you be a trainer? Could you be a scout? Something that where you feel like you could actually contribute to an NHL team. I think I would be a good sports psychologist for a team. I'm not a not I'm not actually unlicensed qualified at all. Course. Yes, unlicensed, absolutely. But you'd I be, be a good you'd be the doctor of feeling good for a team. Yes, yes. Moral. Yes. Yeah. yeah moral support. Ted Lasso, of head of morale. Mm -hmm. Rick, you got a job at the Edmonton Oilers. What do you think you could shine in? I think I could be a good equipment guy. Oh, yeah. That's a big you'd job. You'd be a really I'd, good, like, you know, be, high fives and getting the oh, boys yeah, fired I'll up. I'll be the Devin Shore in the dress in the hallway, no problem. I but think I don't as a paid position. Rick would be the best player relation person. The person that when they come to the team, he's like the first person that reaches out to you to make sure that That's essentially he knows. Yeah, uh, family yeah. liaison. Yeah, he's basically that now. <laughs> just might as well <laughs> get paid to do it, you know? <laughs> yeah, his happy. payment is uh, putting his face on the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we were clamoring for Yessa to get an English t tutor, Rick would be right on was. top of that, you know? Yeah, Boom. That's, uh... Tyler, you get a job with the Oilers. Where do you shine? Just the guy who stands on the bench and is like seeing who's on the ice in the case they guy? the stick guy, whoever breaks their Oh, sticks. I love that guy. Like I'm playing the piano. I don't know. Okay, so the, my only question about that is I don't know if you could honestly just focus on that and not the puck in the game. It is, but you are just watching the puck more. No, or less. you're watching like your guys. Like I'm yeah. pretty sure you're not watching game flow here. Who's got the uh, that guy? This I guy, love those. Sick. Oh. Those videos yeah. where they got two stick, the two hands behind them, and they're watching. What happened in the old days where you just dropped a stick and you just came by and grabbed a rando? Yeah, you just sometimes you're a lefty. You got, yeah, you got knew the hand. Chara's got or? flurry stick all of a sudden. He's playing on his knees or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I asked the Crusaders trainer about that. Because he stands there with literally, so he'll stand, but the sticks are behind him, so mm -hmm. he can't see them. So he just puts them in an order, and he knows how to like where they are. So he doesn't like track the actual game. Like Stevie himself. Wonder on the piano, he, like, re yeah, essentially, <laughs> he just like reads the situation. So if he knows that like guys on top for a one timer, like he'll find that stick and oh, get ready for it to come. <laughs> like he won't like watch. Like he's situational. On the stick you should also ask minutes. him if there's he's a situational one company guy. stick that tends to break more than the rest. Mm. Yeah. There is. is there a CCM out there that's he snapping can't say a lot more than the rest? Or? Uh, I think it's a CCM. The synergy? Is a CCM like 75 or something like that? Does that sound right? I don't know. Okay. Depends on the player. Depends if the player is actually good with the stick or not. If you're used to it and you know your flex, then you're probably not going to snap as many sticks, right? But if well, you're some like, maybe break down from the inside it. faster. Sure, like it'll happen, but... Yeah, that's why he does anyway. He doesn't watch the actual game like the entire time. He based off situations. Liam, I'm going to ask you the same question. You get a job with the others. You cannot pick your scouting gig Damn that you it. do with the <laughs> Sherwood Park Crusaders. Be... That is off the table. You have to choose another one. I did not have a backup. GM. Oh, he's going <laughs> wow, right okay. to the top. Right to it. the top of the game. Okay. I love it. All so right. I'd have called him by now if I was in judge. Get I'm the man sure, the job. Pretty, pretty good at making sure the water bottles are cold here, but you're going right to GM. I like it. <laughs> yep, may as well. I mean, aim high, folks. You Kids, if you're listening you at all, uh, well, never give up. Chris Butty's down there for intermission. and nope. I could be chef. I could be team chef. <laughs> well, <laughs> you inspired me to take Bob Nicholson's job, whatever that is, because I'll come up with a half price burger that everybody wants. <laughs> Oh, I could I could give you on just a cheeseburger. 